Hi everyone, welcome to STEM at Home. My name is Darcy, I work at the Danbury Public Library and today we are going to talk about non-Newtonian fluids. And we're going to do that by making oobleck. And oobleck is very easy to make. All we need is some water, some cornstarch, a big bowl to put everything in, and a spoon. So, in order to make oobleck, we're going to take about two parts of cornstarch to one part of water. So that means we've got about two cups worth of cornstarch here. So let me dump that right in there. And yes, things will get messy. <laughs> Don't worry about that. So we're going to knock all of our cornstarch in here. Since we had two cups of cornstarch, we need about one cup of water to start. Oops, and I just thought something, you know, I kind of want my oobleck to be colorful instead of white, so I'm going to add a little food coloring before I get too much further along, you know. How about, how about we do blue? Let's do blue oobleck. Take my food coloring here. Because if we don't add the coloring, we're just going to get plain white blick and I think I want a little color in mine. So mix our food coloring up here. Got nice blue, huh? Yeah, I like that. Get up nice and good. more water we'll just see but usually the two to one ratio works pretty good but it's already getting kind of thick and hard to stir yeah definitely need a little more water so I'm gonna add let's say about half a cup if your oobleck is too thick and powdery you need to add more water if it looks a little too runny then you need more cornstarch. Back just to the point, I think I want to stir it with my hands and not a spoon. So let's put a spoon. Oh. There we go. That's a little better. Our oobleck should be to the consistency so that if we run our fingers through it, it kind of separates and then comes back together. I think we got it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like to get your hands dirty and messy for your kids too, this is great. This is a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna get some of it off my hands. And it does come up with water. I just don't have a wet wet nap with me. And <laughs> like I said, it will make a mess. So this is oobleck. It's kind of hard for you to see. So it's kind of it's runny. Kind of moving around in the bowl here. So it's acting like liquid, right? It's kind of running all over the place, which is what liquids do. But the interesting thing about oobleck is if I was to grab some of this oobleck and I form it into a ball in my hands, it starts to get solid. Pour it into a little solid ball, but then when you stop, it goes back into a liquid. See it's running down the sides there? Yep. And if I was to grab it and squeeze it again, it starts to form back into a ball and then turns back into a liquid. So this is what makes oobleck a non Newtonian fluid. Newtonian fluids are like water. Remember that word we had last time, viscosity? Well, a Newtonian fluid maintains the same viscosity all the time. As long as it's in its liquid form, water is going to be like water. You can't try and grab water, it just goes right through your hands. You can't grab it. It doesn't change its consistency at all, its thickness. But non-Newtonian fluids like oobleck do. Again, we can grab a pinch of it off, form it into a ball in our hands, and it gets pretty solid. It's not going to be completely rock hard, but it is get you know, it 
forms into like a little ball. And then when we stop with the pressure, it flops right back into a liquid. Its viscosity changes. And that's what makes it special. We actually have a non-Newtonian fluid in our fridge that we use quite regularly, especially if you eat a lot of hot dogs and hamburgers. And that's ketchup. Ketchup is a non-Newtonian fluid. So that is oblique. And it seems very easy to make. It's usually two parts of cornstarch to one part water. And if you want a little bit of food coloring to make it more visually interesting, and you can make different colors of oobleck in different bowls and then try and mix them together and see what happens. It's kind of like silly putty, huh? Right? Well, silly putty is another form of a non-Newtonian fluid. So when you're done playing with your oobleck, you might think, well, I can just throw this down the sink because it's, it's liquid, right? You don't want to do that because it might clog up your sink. So when you're done playing with your oobleck and you've had fun with it and you've cleaned up, you want to take your oobleck and you put it in a bag or just throw it right into the trash and it'll be fine. It'll actually separate out. No worries, but don't put it down your sink. <laughs> no. And you probably don't want to eat it either. It doesn't taste very good. And the little mess that you make can just be cleaned up very easily with a little bit of soap and water. So that's our experiment for this week. And I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoyed playing with your oobleck. And if you're interested in reading about oobleck, it got its name from a Dr. Seuss story called Bartholomew and the Oobleck, where a king who was bored with snow and fog and rain and sun coming down from the sky decided he wants something different and he asked for something a little special and he got Oobleck. And it caused a lot of problems because as you can tell, it's very, it's very sticky. It's sticky, goopy substance. It's a lot of fun to play with. And there you go. So I hope you had a good time, and we will see you when the library opens again, and tune in next week for more science fun, okay? Bye, guys.